we are going to learn how to enable FIPS. FIPS are Federal Information Processing Standards. So how to enable FIPS on Red Hat server or CentOS server. So the prerequisite for enabling uh, FIPS is you need to have a M repository installed configured on the server on any of the server let's say CentOS or Linux server so you just need to install two packages the M repository is already configured on this server so I am installing the packages required for FIPS so Dracut FIPS is the first package okay let that package install and after installing that package we will install the second package see package it is resolving the dependencies and downloading the packages I have installed the first package now we are installing the second package that is Dracut FIPS AEN SI so you just install the second one after installing this uh, package we need to back up the existing init ram so we are backing up that existing init ram it will ask us for the backup or overwriting so press yes so it have back taken a backup for the init ram fs now now dracut hyphen f command is for to create is to create a init ram fs image so we have fired that command now we need to update the kernel line argument to fips is equal to one so we are after finishing this command execution we'll update kernel line argument to that fips is equal to one so see these steps which I am telling you are similar for Red Hat Linux as well as CentOS. So now we are changing the kernel line argument to FIPS is equal to 1. So there are three commands for that. First command we have executed already. Now this second command UUID and the third one is to really update and we need to use this command this come please make a note of those commands those are very important commands it's to it is good to have the collection on your notes so this is the command okay now we need to reboot the machine so i am okay so i have just typed reboot and after reboot we need to check whether FIPS is enabled or not so there is one command for that that is sysctl crypto.fips underscore enabled that if that command is returning one that means FIPS is enabled if that command is going to return zero that means FIPS is disabled so very simple steps just need to install the packages, move the init ram fs and create an init ram image and update the kernel line argument and reboot only. So very simple steps. So we'll if we'll try to reconnect to the host. Yeah, good news. We have successfully reconnected. Now we'll we'll check the status whether FIPS is enabled or not. So sysctl crypto dot fips and underscore enabled. It is returning one means fips is enabled. So thank you guys for watching. And note all the commands. I will I will put all these commands into the description link. Okay. So thank you.